Okay, Geometry Chapter 10, Section 5, Angle Relationships and Circles. Lots of stuff to get to this one, so we're going to dive right in. Let's go ahead and get our compass out and get our circle. Probably going to need to hit pause a few times on this one. Um, I'm going to create a chord. It is that chord let's get all the way down there good and then let's see if I can get a good one a tangent not happy with that one a little happier with that one okay so I have a chord and a tangent let's label some things here we're going to call this point A. We might need it as a directional here in just a second. This will be B, and this will be C. And I've created two angles here, one and two. Okay, so if I um, understand that the vertex of these angles is on my center, then I understand that... Um, that these are inscribed angles. And so angle one is half of arc CAB. Okay, so again, I'm gonna draw it in red because I like the way that I, this right here is where it intersects. Okay. So angle one is one half of whatever the measure of arc CAB is. Then angle two, I'm going to draw its intercepted arc in blue because blue is nice and bright as well. I like the blue and red. And of course it's Spartan colors as well. So that makes it awesome. Okay. And so angle two is one half of arc BC. Now I'm just going to be going over mostly just the theorems. Um, we'll put the math to it when we get into the work in class. Okay, so that is a chord intersecting a tangent. Now, this is all null and void if that chord is a diameter, because remember that if it's a diameter and it intersects a tangent, then each one of those angles is going to be 90 degrees. But typically they're not going to give you problems like that. Okay, the next one is unique. We've got a circle here. And then let's just say we have some intersecting lines. So we're going to have some verticals, um, vertical angles there. So we really only need to find two of those angles because the other ones would be um, congruent. And what I mean by that, if this is angle one, two, three, and four, if I were to find out what angle one is, then angle three would be the same. If I were to find out what angle two is, then angle four would be the same. So there's really no need to find these angles. We're just going to do two of them. Okay, so I'm going to go back to colors and I'm going to uh, start with blue. And angle two, you can see, intercepts this arc and its same vertical angle intercepts this arc so we're going to use those two to find out what angle two is and angle two is equal to one half of the sum of those intersecting arcs so it's one half of arc ad plus arc bc so we would add those two arcs together and divide them by two. So you can probably see where we're going with the next one. I'm gonna put it in red. Angle one is gonna be one half of the sum of its intercepted arcs. So angle one is equal to one half of the sum of arc AB and DC. 
Okay, pretty basic, just one half of the sum of their interior angles. So we've got three more to go. So the next one, we'll do that one a little bit too tall there. Move it down. The next one is going to be a secant and a tangent. Right about there. That should work. We've got a secant. Oh, I don't want it in red. And a tangent. So this will be A, B, and C. And this will be angle number one. And so this theorem and all of these are these three are found at the top of page 507. Instead of adding those, we're going to take half of the difference. And we want the larger one first. So we need to identify that BC is larger than AC. So angle 1 is congruent to 1 half of the larger arc, which in this case is BC, minus the smaller arc, which is AC. Okay, so one half of larger arc minus smaller arc. Okay. And that is for a secant and a tangent. So now let's look at a couple of tangents. Uh, excuse me, both secants. I'm sorry. No. Well, we're going to do both. So let's start out with both tangent. So kind of like our like our ice cream that we had before. I don't like that one. Maybe easier to do it that way. Yeah, there we go. All right. We'll put that right there. Okay, so we are going to have again um, angle one. And I'm I'm gonna get that one of these days. I'm gonna remember. And again, I will use different letters this time. We'll use X, Y, and Z. Okay, again, we're going to do a difference here of the larger angle. And so angle one is one half. A difference of the larger arc. I'm sorry, I said larger angle. It should be larger arc of XYZ minus XZ. Okay, one half of the larger arc minus the smaller one. And so, larger minus smaller. And then the last one is going to be two secants. This one's easier to draw. I'm never going to remember, am I, guys? And so in this case, we've got four different intersection points. So we've got angle one, we've got A, B, C, and D. And so again, we're looking at the farther arc, or the greater one, minus the smaller one. So I'm going to do these in colors first. So that one 
minus that one. So angle 1 is equal to 1 half of arc BC minus arc AD. So that takes care of tangent secant, both tangents, and both secants. And we have one more to go. We've got the circumscribed angle. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me uh, two tangents. And what's going to be a little different here is that the angle, well, I don't like that one. Sorry, let's draw another one. I didn't like the way that one was going to be because it's going to be almost a diameter. Let's draw a little smaller one. There we go. I like that one a little better. And so we've got our center here. And a circumscribed angle is going to mean that our tangents are the endpoints of our angle. Okay, so the tangents endpoints are right there and the angles endpoints are right there. And so let's say in this case that I have an angle of 135 degrees. So I'll call this 135. And let's let this outside angle be 1 like we've been letting it be. And so in this case, angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. Hundred eighty degrees. Oh, and let me. Label, I'm sorry. Um, we'll call that ABC. It's equal to 180 degrees minus the circumscribed angle, which in this case is angle ABC. And so, if I wanted to solve that, that would be 180 minus 135. So that would mean that angle one would be 45 degrees. So the circumscribed angle is the 135, and the exterior angle of the two tangents to that would be 45 degrees. And that is all. We have a little over 13 minutes for Chapter 10, Section 5, Angle Relationships in Circles.